Well, it became apparent to us that our colleagues were having to contact us uh, informally when we weren't on call to come in and endoscope sick patients. And what that meant was that the clinicians in charge of the case were having to ring around, hopefully contact a gastroenterologist who was available, who would then come in out of goodwill. It's clearly not appropriate in a modern day service to have that sort of system. And so we felt there should be a more formalized approach to endoscopy out of hours. Well, we didn't actually have a formal business case. Uh, it was quite fortunate that I was the clinical director for medicine and at that time gastroenterology was in a separate directorate. So we also had a clinical director for gastroenterology and the two of us worked together and it should be said with our consultant physician colleagues to try and come up with a solution that would allow us to provide an endoscopy service out of hours but not necessarily increase the uh, onerousness of the on-call medical rotor. Well, obviously we had to put to them the clinical case, obviously that's the most important thing, that we're dealing with sick patients who need endoscoping out of hours. So we made that clinical case and they understood that, but they were concerned about the onerousness of the rotor. So what we actually managed to do was gain some financial support to uh, uh, promote our staff grades, we had two of them at the time, to become associate specialists, and they would work as uh, consultants on call providing a medical service. So with these two additional hands, there wasn't a great change to the acute medical rotor. The associate specialist business case was set up by uh, writing a small business case which required a little bit of increased funding to allow promotion of these two individuals. We had good executive support for this. We made our case cogently and as a result of the business case, these two individuals were felt to be worthy of promotion to associate specialist level. Well, we're aware that our GI bleed service may not be as onerous as some inner city areas. For instance, our data shows that we have much lower rates of variceal bleeding compared to some other units. So it is unusual for us to be regularly up at night night after night. As a result of that, we feel we don't need to cancel our next day working commitment, so there's no clash between elective work and on-call work. Well, there are two ways this might, process might happen for referral. If obviously a patient's extremely sick and is not responding to resuscitation, then the on-call medical team or surgical team will contact the gastroenterologist on call who will discuss the case, make a decision as to whether endoscopy is required. If endoscopy is required and it's out of hours, then that endoscopy will be done in theatres, which will require calling in the endoscopy nursing staff to decontaminate the scope and provide assistance. And of course, the anaesthetist in the hospital will be involved in managing that case. Electively, things are, or semi-electively I should say, things are slightly different. So a patient comes in on a Saturday lunchtime with Melina, they're hemodynamically stable with a relatively low uh, Blatchford score. Those patients are resuscitated as required, an endoscopy request card is placed in a, in a post box and the next morning the nursing staff pick up that request card, the patient is called for and is endoscoped in our endoscopy unit which is in the main part of our hospital. Whereas well, part of access to seven day services we felt it was appropriate that our patients, particularly our working patients, did have the choice of doing, of having a, an endoscopy at the weekend should they so wish. Also, with demand increasing, there clearly was a need to provide endoscopy at weekends. By doing this, this brought income into the trust, which allowed us to partly fund the on-call emergency endoscopy service, particularly when two additional consultants joined the service.
Well, our, our patients have found it tremendously helpful because not only are we available to provide an on-call service for patients with GI bleeds, but we can also provide endoscopy services for other acute complications. For instance, only yesterday I saw a patient with a food bolus obstruction, which I was able to deal with on a Sunday, after, a Sunday morning for her, allowing her to go home later in the afternoon. Our surgical colleagues often approach us uh, requesting emergency endoscopy for patients with a sigmoid volvulus. For patients that we're concerned might have acute colitis, we can also perform an urgent flexible sigmoidoscopy at a weekend, have a look, make a diagnosis and start treatment for these sick patients. Mm -hmm. Well, from my perspective, there's no doubt that the greatest impact has been providing early endoscopy, providing early treatment and diagnosis, and for those patients who are low risk, they're able to be discharged home much earlier, which is a great benefit not just to the patient, but to the trust as a whole. For patients, of course, they're being treated earlier, and I've reflected on the fact that they're often quite pleased and perhaps even surprised to see a consultant in on a Saturday or Sunday morning providing their endoscopy care and they're very grateful for that. Well my top tips would be to define your service so know what the level of demand is for emergency GI bleed endoscopy at weekends. Know what your surgical colleagues also require of you. Once you've done that, you actually need to define your site. For instance, endoscopy done in a standalone unit may not be safe at weekends, so it's probably best to ensure that emergency endoscopy is done in the main part of the hospital. Also, you need to have your consultant physicians on board. And finally, I think the most important thing is to have your nurses on board to make sure that they're prepared to be part of the on-call rota. And once you've established that, to make sure that your endoscopy unit is adequately staffed at weekends to look after patients who are potentially quite sick. Mm -hmm.